So once again, I'm just uh, over the moon about uh, Hugh and Brian being inducted this year. It's just two of my favorite freaking people in my whole life. Changed my uh, whole molding as a child. And I, uh, yeah, I know in Hugh's eyes he thinks I'm still 25, but I'm not. Um, so I met Brian Mitchell um, back in 1989 or 90 after a performance in uh, Plattsburgh, New York, thanks to the great Hugh Poole, by the way. And I'd never seen a keyboard player like Brian before. I was only gigging for about three years in this really tiny town upstate New York near Montreal, and this was something you just didn't see up there. And I remember walking down Protection Alley uh, with Brian arm in arm. I don't know how that happened, but I was lucky to, uh, to, to be the arm in arm with him. And I said, you are so angelic. And boy, did I find out other things after that. <laughs> boy, was I right and wrong at the same time. Brian was really cool for me because when I lived upstate, I wanted to move down to New York, and Hugh and Brian were both uh, impetuses of me moving down here and why I'm here on the stage today. Brian sent me this amazing tape of all these these awesome women like Irma Thomas and um, Ann Peebles and Mavis Staples that a young child at the time, I think it was only 19, 20 years old, would have never heard of or been exposed to. So it was really an amazing thing for me. Uh, it sounds like I'm talking about me, but that's okay. <laughs> we'll get to you in a second. Anyway, after I moved here in 92 um, to follow my dream of music, because you morons made me do it, and I am a broke motherfucker, um, I would seek out Brian, Brian's performances because I just love to watch him play live and I love his songwriting. And I think I was there every Thursday at uh, the Parkside. I'd order my martini and I would watch you play and uh, you know listen to, as they say, um, your crazy Latin beats. Or maybe that was me that was saying that. Um, and your New Orleans style thing and your crazy blues shit. And, uh, but there was one, I'm going off the page, I can't help it. But there was one thing that um, when I was there, I, would, I, I was like a lunatic and I was like, I wanna hear this song, I wanna hear this song. And it was an original song by uh, Brian Mitchell, uh, Get Out of Town. And I don't know if it was like, you know, said to me like, please get out of town because you keep asking for this song. Um, I'm sure he was really tired of playing it um, after <laughs> I would ask the song. Um, for this award, I didn't want to spew out his um, impressive bio, as they say. Like, like he's played with everyone and anybody in the music business and beyond, like Bob Dylan, Al Green, President Clinton, and of course, the great Levon Helm. Clap. Which for Brian, I know, was a very special time in his career. I wanted to share beautiful memories that I've had over the last 25 or so years. I, I've had the privilege to do some writing with Brian um, over the summer, and uh, it came to fruition recently, and we went to the Cafe Carlisle and went to see Betty Levette sing this song. And I don't believe that uh, either one of us could believe how awesome the song was. I think it got the best acknowledgement in the room and I was so proud to be able to write this song with Mr. Brian Mitchell. I had some funny things to say prior to that but I got emotional. You know, you jet setting and you're here there, I couldn't get a hold of you, that whole thing. But we did, we pulled it together. Anyway, I was, I was proud to sit with Brian this past week at the Carlisle um, to perform our song, Step Away. It was one of the greatest moments of my life. Congratulations, New York Blues Hall of Fame Award to Brian Mitchell. And thanks for the contribution for the world of music for both fans and musicians that are fans of yours. I am honored, so honored, and I love you so much to be your friend. I love you. Thank you. She forgot one thing. Brian Mitchell, you are officially inducted into the New York Blues Hall of Fame as a master blues artist. Congratulations, Brian Mitchell. Check two, one, two.